What is the interesting thing about the Slayer drum set? Can you tell us? A lot of pieces. Yeah? A lot of pieces. As you can see, uh, it's not a traditional rack mount setup. He's going for, uh, it's going more for just straight ahead stands. You know, it's a tripod based setup. But with the straight stands, you just have more versatility on the angles that you're able to achieve versus a rack mount system. Rack mount just doesn't give you the versatility and uh, you know the positioning that you could get with this. Paul is uh, is very meticulous, very particular, and uh, it's like I'm I'm working for a, a very meticulous Formula One driver. You know, I'm wow. in, I'm his pit crew. Come you now for uh, Slayer or for Machine no, Head? Ah, Machine Head, we're gonna go for Als het goed is, koop ik die LP. Als het niet goed is, dan. Uh... En waar komen jullie vandaan? Feint ook. Hallo, meneer. Goedemorgen. Waar, waar komen jullie voor? Slayer. Dat is vanavond, hè? Dat is vanavond. Dat is vanavond. Ja. En kom je nou morgenavond ook naar Zizi Top of niet? Oh, nou, dat wat, had, was het maar waar. Was de bedoeling, maar dat gaat niet door. Waarom niet? No money. <laughs> Nee. Zou je wel naartoe gewild hebben? Ja, ja zeker is wel. Ja, is wel lekker. Hoezo mag dat niet of zo? Nee, maar dat vind ik toch, <laughs> dat is toch een, Het zijn toch twee heel verschillende bands? Ja, ja ach, een beetje brede muziek smaken, hè? Wat vind je van de drummer van Slayer? Ja, hij is vrij die, snel. Die nieuwe is beter dan die oude. Ah, ja, hè? best wel. Ja. ja, hij is vrij snel. Ik ken niet zoveel drummers die zo uh, snel kunnen drummen. Jij? Nou, ja, die van Golden Earring kan Golden er ook wat van. Golden Earring is heel snel. Lars Jurich van Metallica is ook heel snel. En jou nodig heb je toch gehad, denk ik. This way you don't have to think. <laughs> With Paul, you have a person who used to play uh, soccer quite a bit and still does. So physically, he's really fit. He's in good shape. So, I mean, you have to be in top condition to play this style. Definitely. Yeah, because yeah. most of the time what he's doing is all the melodic stuff. He's playing the melody on top of the rhythm that the guitar players are playing. So he's always like on the go. 90 minutes non-stop, total aerobic exercise he's going through. Some people joke with me and say it looks like I'm praying. Or meditating or something. So this is kind of a ritual I have to do every day, you know, before I play. I like to warm up. How long does it take you to warm up? Uh, depends. Sometimes if we're in a hurry, I do what I can and then I go play. But I always warm up with these sticks here. Always. Mm. You know, the stretching, well, if I, can get, if I can get to it, I do. You know, but usually, usually I like to take about a half hour. So. These are my sticks. These are the sticks I used to warm up. Just so. They're, they're, they're um, aluminum sticks. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I Why found... is that? Why is that? Well, it's the same. They're heavier than, they're heavier than, um, than my normal drumstick. Um, so um, to warm up with them, my, it, you know, it takes less time for me to warm up to, uh, to, the, to the weight of a drumstick because these are so much heavier. I recommend this to anybody, any drummer using this thing. What would you say, how would you describe the, the difference between uh, uh, Paul's drumming and your drumming, for instance? Well, it's almost two different worlds because Paul is, he's got a great work, work ethic, which I'm trying to pick up, which is like stretching, series of stretching, and just keep walking around with sticks for a while and starting to warm up. I used to, a couple tours back, I met a few drummers that really have gotten me into like stretching and really th concentrating before I go on stage. And Paul it helps me intensify that feeling because that's just kind of like the drum feeling around shop on this tour is be prepared, you know? And yeah. Uh -huh. Stuff like that. And uh, Paul's very technical, but he doesn't come across sterile. We're going to go sound check if you want to come. <laughs> Let's 
take an example. This is a song we're going to film, A Thousand Lies. Right. Can you sort of ex explain to us what your drumming uh, does in that particular song? Yeah, well, in that song, basically, it, uh, it starts out with just a lot of, like, throbbing bass drums, you know, kick drums, and my toms were, like, up to up to a, a big, like, crescendo build-up in the beginning where it's just like a normal, normal 4-4 beat. break comes and the guitar line comes in then it goes up it drops up to like a real funky pattern which is like and it stops like that. Then the hi-hat notes kick in after that, just for flavor. Same beat, but it's Then there's long rolls into the chorus parts, and I go to the ride cymbal. Then we go back through the verses again. There's one very where the guitar solo is. There's a very fast part, isn't it so? Yes, there's like high tempo. Right. That's with double bass drum too? Yeah, but it's not. It's not keeping the notes like this. It's going. So you keep two notes here and then just follow. So it's like, sounds like it's going, but it's like a gallop. And then the only song we have that like, like Davidian, the first song, has double bass almost all the way through it. Like this, just normal. Dig it, 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 dig it. 